The Honourable Member for Thornhill. 50,000 fans watch the Jays play live. No masks, no mandates. Over 20,000 with standing room only to see the Leafs in the playoffs. No masks, no mandates. And thank goodness this government's not in charge of sports. The secret public health advice that they are getting seems exclusively focused on punishing Canadians who want to fly and see their families or get back to work. So I'll ask again, which day will this government end the vindictive mandates? The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm very glad to answer this question. There's no secret, Mr. Speaker, no secret evidence. Everyone knows that vaccination saves lives. 163,000 lives would have been saved in the United States just with Omicron if they had had a higher vaccination rate. In Canada, Mr. Speaker, we have been vaccinated to a large number, to a large extent, and that's why we have been successful at having one of the lowest rates of death in, Can in the world with COVID-19. The Honourable Member for Thornhill. Mr. Speaker, I'll invite the Minister to table the secret public health advice that's different in this country than in any other country. Yeah. The Jays and the Leafs are both busing to the Buffalo airport to be able to join the rest of the league without delays. That's because the ineffective redundancy at our own airports. Most Canadians don't have that luxury. Lineups and wait times at Pearson Airport will only worsen over the summer unless this government asks. So, Mr. Speaker, I will ask one more time, when will Canada Canada join the rest of the world and drop the restrictions. The Honourable Minister of Transport. Mr. Mr. Speaker, let me start with the good news first. More Canadians are travelling today than the last two years. Good for tourism. Order. Order. Let the, minute, let the Minister answer his question. The Honourable Minister of Transport. Mr. Speaker, the good news is that more Canadians want to travel, want to go on, on trips, want to visit families, and we're seeing large volumes at airports. Mr. Speaker, these delays, are, we're working on them. Yesterday, I met with the CEO of CATSA. We struck a working group a few weeks ago to address these issues, to work quickly to address these uh, surge in demand. Mr. Speaker, we're seeing surge across the entire economy. Our government is responsive. We're working proactively to address these issues as quickly as possible. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.